Messy buns are actually terrible for your hair for a number of different reasons. If you have your hair just in a low pony, the only area that's getting tension is where the hair tie is hitting, right here. So a messy bun puts tension on multiple areas throughout your hair strand. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura, I'm a hairstylist, and today we're gonna talk about five different ways to care for your hair when working from home. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about today, number one, is to wash your hair less frequently. Now, this is something that in the salon I get a lot of controversy about. A lot of clients will come in telling me that they can't skip washing days because their hair is just too oily. And you may have heard this, some may disagree with me, but washing your hair more frequently is actually what is making your hair oily. This might not make sense to you, but the more that you wash your hair, the more you're stripping it of its natural oils. When you strip the hair or the skin from its natural oils, it has to overcompensate for the dryness. So the more that you wash your hair, the more oil that your scalp starts to produce. So this means that if you wash your hair every single day, it's likely extremely oily. Personally, I think working from home is the best time to experiment with washing your hair less frequently. I actually wash my hair just once a week. I'm at about day six right now, and you can't tell. I have no separation, and my hair is extremely soft and healthy. I recommend starting with just adding one day, and then after a few weeks, you can increase to two days, three days, and see how far you can get. The best way to do this is by using dry shampoo on every day that you're not washing it. I even suggest using it the night that you do wash your hair. So let's say you wash your hair Monday morning. Use dry shampoo Monday evening, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, and every day until you wash it again. When you use dry shampoo from the get-go, instead of just when it gets oily, it works a lot better and you're not having to overcompensate for the already oily hair. You're kind of working proactively by stopping the oil before it gets extreme. Washing your hair too frequently doesn't just cause an oily scalp, but you also run the risk of fading your hair color and creating more split ends because you're drying out the hair. Okay, so number two is to not skip brushing your hair. And this is important. This actually ties into number one because brushing your hair properly will help you to go longer between skipping shampoos. If you thoroughly brush your hair and scalp with a boar bristle brush, you're gonna pull the oils from your scalp down to the ends of your hair that need it. So not only is brushing important to remove tangles and not cause you to get a big rat's nest in the back, but it also helps to keep your hair moisturized and shiny. The ends of our hair often lack oils because the oil from our scalp doesn't always make it all the way down to our ends. That's where a boar bristle brush comes in. Here I have two examples of boar bristle brushes. This one has a little bit longer bristles and it's a round brush, and this one is a paddle brush with shorter bristles. It's important to make sure that you're not only brushing your hair, but you're brushing your scalp with the brush as well. This will help to exfoliate any dead skin cells from your scalp, as well as grab the oils and pull them down. I recommend going over each section several times and thoroughly hitting your scalp and pulling it all the way through. This helps you go extra days between washes because you're able to pull the oils from your scalp and distribute it through the ends of your hair. Okay, so number three is to avoid heat as much as possible. If you're not going into the office every day, then there's really no reason to iron your hair regularly. Now, I'm not saying to not do anything with your hair, especially if you're doing video calls, you obviously have to look presentable. But that being said, there are other ways to style your hair than using heat. Now, this is totally dependent on your hair type and what works for your hair, but I recommend trying out some heatless waves. Again, this method might be different based on your hair texture. I recommend experimenting with different things until you find what works best for you. Personally, for me, I'll put my hair into two braids when it's 90% to 100% dry. If I do this when my hair is too wet, it'll be too crazy. But for those of you with extremely straight hair, you may need to do this when your hair is wet in order for it to hold. 
Then at the end of the day, I put it back into the braids and I go to sleep with the braids in. Then when I wake up the next morning, I take the braids out and it's great again. And I do this over and over until I wash my hair again. Now, something else worth mentioning is that it's better to avoid ironing your hair than avoid blow drying your hair. Irons are always gonna be worse for your hair because they're direct hot heat. A blow dryer is indirect heat and it's diffused and it's air, it's not a hot metal plate. So if you're gonna do one or the other, definitely choose blow drying over ironing. If you are gonna blow dry your hair, let it dry 80 to 90% of the way first so that you're avoiding as much heat as possible. Okay, so this next one you guys might be mad at me about. Number four is to avoid messy buns. Messy buns are actually terrible for your hair for a number of different reasons. Now the hair tie that you use does make or break this situation, but either way, a messy bun is always gonna be worse for your hair than a loose pony or a braid. This is because in a messy bun, every area of your hair that hits a hair tie is getting excess tension on it that can cause damage. If you have your hair just in a low pony, the only area that's getting tension is where the hair tie is hitting, right here. So a messy bun puts tension on multiple areas throughout your hair strand. Over time, this causes weakness and breakage throughout your hair. So ponytails are always better than messy buns. And the best kind of ponytail is a low one. This is because gravity is working in your favor. When you do a high pony, the weight of your hair is pulling tension on where that hair tie is. But when it's low, there's not as much tension because the hair is already laying down naturally. And an even better way to pull your hair back is to braid it. This is because the area of tension where the elastic tie is, is at the very end of your hair. This means that this is the only area of hair that there's tension against. So this is definitely something to keep in mind when you're just sitting at home, throwing your hair up into a bun. Know that you could be causing damage. It's okay if you're doing it every once in a while, but to do it regularly is not good. Okay, so number five is conditioning treatments. Depending on what you do, working from home can give you an extra advantage. If you have time throughout the day to put a conditioning treatment in, I recommend doing it. Depending on your hair type and if it's color treated or not, you should be doing a conditioning treatment every time you wash it to at the very minimum once a month. If you have any blonde in your hair at all, then every single time that you wash your hair, you should be doing some form of conditioning treatment. I personally recommend alternating between a bonding treatment, a moisture treatment, and a protein treatment. If you can do one of these masks while getting some work done, you are killing it in the hair game. Okay, so to recap, the five ways to care for your hair while working from home are wash your hair less frequently, don't skip brushing it, avoid heat, avoid messy buns, and take advantage of at-home conditioning treatments. If you guys have any questions about anything that I talked about today, leave it for me in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.